Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a Dungeons and Dragons new version of a classic 90s character. I mean, 80s character. It's Diana from Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> the cartoon series, not the movie. And yeah, I do like this figure. She does with the eyes look like an anime kind of eyes with her eyes, and that's why I picked her up for anime style review. And she's got her green staff. She does got one where she's swishing it around. But yeah, I am going to look at the packaging first. Got a nice product shot of her. That she looks pretty cute and adorable. Why not? Then why not? We get the uh, dice that comes with Diane. On the back, we, we paid about 10 bucks for this figure. And these are the other two we don't have. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick them up if I see them. If I don't, I don't. Otherwise, I like this set. Diana... Stas and f figures. These are just so much fun. That's all there is to say for the packaging. We'll look at the articulation on Diane. Articulation's very good. But she's a little tight on my copy, and I just don't want to break her. Hands can twirl the staff around, which is pretty cool. Love that. Uh, the legs are so tight, I don't want to break the legs. So we're not going to bother bending the knees. Do get some leg movement. Not much. It looks like you can put her on a stand, though. That's pretty cool. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. Here's the twirly staff. Like that design. And you got a dice like you'd play in the original Dungeons & Dragons board game. Why not? You roll it to make your attacks or whatever. And I just love this figure. I haven't watched the cartoon series in a long time, but I love the figure. She's just that cute looking. And she's definitely going to be part of my toy collection for a very long time. Now, this was going to be a quick video anyway. I will be doing my Star Wars collection show off maybe later tonight or tomorrow. As my last side video for the week. But this is the next toy review we're going to do. Starting Sunday of next week, it's Transformers Generation 1, 1980s Bone Crusher. And I'm about two bots from having the set. But for now, that's up for next week. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out, YouTube land.